Hello boys and girls, it's Miss Amy. I hope that you all have had a wonderful week. This week, we are going to be going back into the New Testament. Remember, I told you a few weeks ago that each week, our Bible stories come from the lectionary readings, which are stories from the Bible that kind of all go together in a theme. And it helps us to understand God's message to us through the Bible stories each week. So today we're going back into the New Testament. And the New Testament, again, is the time when after Jesus was born, um, his life, his death, resurrection, and then afterwards, and today we're going to be reading um, from our Jesus Storybook Bible again. And this is a story that many of you may have heard, but is one of my favorites. And it is the story of the loaves and the fishes. So let's listen to that story today. Build full. There once were five thousand tired and hungry and probably grumpy people sitting on a hillside wanting their dinner. They come to hear Jesus that day. They came before breakfast, stayed all morning, all afternoon, and way past dinner. No one had meant to be out there that long, but that's how it was listening to Jesus as if time didn't exist. People could listen to Jesus for hours, and on this particular day, that's just what they did. But they hadn't brought enough food, and they couldn't just go and buy themselves a burger and fries to go because, of course, they were in the middle of nowhere with no shops or restaurants. Besides, that's the kind of food that wasn't invented yet. What would they do? Jesus' friends had an idea. Let's send everyone home for dinner. And look at that huge crowd of people. You can see they're all listening to Jesus, but some of them, like this lady right here, looks like she might be a little grumpy because she's hungry. Let's see what happens. They don't need to go, Jesus said. You can give them something to eat. Did Jesus want them to travel all the way to town and buy food for everyone? Jesus' friends panicked. But we don't have enough money. What food do we have? Jesus? What food do you have? Jesus asked. Go and see. Now, there was a little boy in the crowd. He had brought a lunch that his mother had made for him that morning. He looked at his five loaves and two fish. It wasn't much, not nearly enough for 5,000, but, but it was all he had. I have some, he said. Jesus' friends laughed when they saw his little lunch. That's not nearly enough, they said. But they were wrong. Jesus knew it didn't matter how much the little boy had. God would make it enough, more than enough. Jesus said, bring me what you have. And so the little boy gave Jesus his lunch. Jesus winked at the little boy and whispered in his ear, watch. How in the world will Jesus feed everyone with just that, Jesus' friend said, because they thought it was impossible. But Jesus knew the one who made all the fish in the oceans, and Jesus knew the one who in the very beginning had made everything out of nothing at all. How hard would something like this be for someone like that? And look at the little boy here the loaves, the five loaves and the two fish. And let's see what Jesus does with that. Jesus took the little boy's lunch, 
looked up in heaven and thanked his father. Then Jesus gave the little lunch back to his friends. As Jesus' friends started to hand out the food, do you know what? It was the strangest thing. No matter how much they broke off, there were always more loaves of bread and more fish and more and more. And now for 5,000. Everyone ate as much as they wanted, seconds, thirds, even fourths, until they were full and still there were leftovers. Jesus did many miracles like that. Things people thought couldn't happen that weren't natural, but it was the most natural thing in the world. It's what God had been doing from the beginning, of course, taking the nothing and making it everything taking the emptiness and filling it up, taking the darkness and making it light. And look at that. Look at how happy all of those people are. And that is the miracle that Jesus performed. He made two fish and five loaves into enough food to feed the entire crowd that had come. And this story is such a great reminder that Jesus comes to us right where we are, right in our hearts. And through his strength in us, we are able to trust in him and draw near and give what we have to Jesus. Doesn't matter how big or small or medium it is, Jesus can take that something and make it into something wonderful for everyone. And we never know how far what we trust Jesus with is going to go because nothing is impossible with him. So we can just rejoice in knowing that we don't have to do anything great and wonderful for God. God will do things great and wonderful for us and through us. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you soon next week. Bye.